gentlemen, boys and ghouls, step right up. Behind this curtain lies a ghastly concoction of delight, horror, fantasy, and terror. Your every wish is our command. Your every whimsical desire brought to life. But I'm warning you, there's always a price. Welcome to the greatest show on earth!
Do you think I'm sexy? I've no time to spare on small fry. Epic, 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 epic. Epic, epic. So epic. I'm epic and I'm so epic, so epic, so epic. More epic, 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 more epic, more epic, more epic, Your qualifications are outstanding, your recommendations superb, and yes, I know I promised you a job, but what happened was completely out of my control. Your position was canceled just an hour ago. I'm sure you'll find another job soon. <laughs> but Mr. Thrasher, I came all the way from El Monte. I was looking forward to this job so much, and, and I do love downtown LA. I mean, I don't like the muggers or the dirt or the slums only two blocks away, or the trash or the homeless, or the poverty or the crime or the potholes or every other person asking for a handout, but I really do love L.A. You know, perhaps something can be worked out after all. Yes? Take your clothes off, Jane. Beg your pardon? You know, we get at least 200 qualified applicants for every position here. It's those people who do that little extra thing. They're the ones who get ahead, I mean get ahead. Take my clothes off? You can't be serious. I'm not whistling Dixie, Jane. Now, if you're serious about this job, you'll follow my first directive and remove your clothing. Here? Now? Read my lips. 
nothing. No one told me about this part of the interview. I, I remember when I was just a little girl and I got lost in the park and I felt so alone. I couldn't find my daddy. He was nowhere around. No one was around. I, I just sat down and bawled my little head off until... Take your damn clothes off!